Welcome back everybody, so today I am going to be talking about how you can put DS games right on your 3DS home menu. No forwarders that take a while to load up, just the ROM on your home menu. So let's get started, and you are going to need a computer and an SD card. So once you have both of those, just go onto your computer and follow what I do. So now that you're on your computer, you want to go to these two websites. This one will just be a bunch of things that will help you get your links, and this one has the Twilight Menu 7-zip that you're going to need to download. So you're also going to need your ROM, I just have mine on my PC home uh, desktop right here. So on this website, click on part 1 since you're using your SD card. If you're using a flash card, go here, but this is for the SD card. Go here, and it's a Dropbox link, so just click here, direct download. So that'll download, show in folder, you're gonna want to 7-zip it. Since it's done, you can just delete that. Uh, yeah, just leave that there. And now that you're done, you can just close out of that Dropbox window and plug in your 3DS SD card. I probably should have done that earlier. So once you're in here, go to for SD card root and drag this NDS file into your 3DS's SD card. I already have everything there, so just replace the files in the destination. So we'll just leave that open aside. So once you're done with that, go back to this website and download the 7-zip version of the Twilight menu. So once that's done, you can just go and 7-zip it like you did with the others. Just wait for that to finish. When it does, you can just delete this. Go in here, move this over, and you'll have all of the stuff you need. So go in here and go to Twilight Menu. Go into your NDS folder in your SD card, and go into and go into NTR Forwarder, and just drag this forward a folder in. I already did it, so it's probably gonna give me something that says, "Yeah." Uh, same names, just skip those files. And great. So now that you have those, go back to this website and download this Forwarder 3DS. It's on Dropbox as well, so just do direct, direct download unless you have a Dropbox you want to save to. And then once you got that done, so just go back out and extract the files. Down here. And here we have everything you need. This is, I've already done a bunch of stuff, so going into Forwarder 3DS will bring this up. And go, yeah, target, make sure it's set to 3DS SD card. Turn all of these on and keep this off. Don't turn it on. Click this and you'll get, you'll be able to choose the ROM you want to convert into a CIA. Uh, since that's the one I'm doing, you just do that. Click save and success. So great. Go back to your 3DS SD card and okay so in the Twilight menu file go to just take this ROMs folder and drag and drop it into your SD card. I already did it, so I don't need to do it. Okay. So go in here and go into NDS. Drop your um, forwarder. So go and drag and drop it. Wait for it to load. And then just go back grab the CIA file and drop it in your CIA folder. And then you can eject the SD card and should be all set. You can head back over to the 3DS. So once you're back on your 3DS, you can just put your SD card back into the 3DS. 
So once you have your SD card back in your 3DS, just close it up and turn it on. Then go and launch FBI, go to SD, go to CIAs, and just download the one you were wanting. Install and delete so that you save space on your SD card. It should only take a few seconds. It's not that big of a file. You can just exit. For some reason for me right now, whenever I download something from FBI, I always have to turn off the system or go to the power off screen before it downloads. So that's why I just did that. Great, new software coming up Luigi's head. And I uh, don't know why it's like that. but So if you had that happen to me, you might just want to go through the steps again and make your CIA again. I'm going to have to end up deleting this. So let's just go and check out another game I downloaded. Mario 64 DS. You should get this screen. It's all it's going to be all white. Should be white for a few seconds. And then it'll show NDS bootstrap on the top screen telling you to wait. There you go. You get your DS game all loaded up right here. So yeah. Everything's working fine. There shouldn't be any compatibility issues, maybe with some DSi games if you try that, but everything should be going well. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.